So in the Lord of the Rings movies, there's a scene where the Fellowship is passing through the mines of Moria and they come upon three passageways. And Gandalf stops and he's like, I have no memory of this place. And in my mind, it's one of the more pivotal scenes in the movie because, I mean, that could be it right there. If they take the wrong trail, the wrong path, it could be over for them. And Gandalf is doubting himself. He's got no memory of the place. I love how the scene plays out, how he has that nice chat with Frodo and everything. But what I want to make is, is a diorama of just those three doorways where I can put Gandalf right in the middle. It's just such a, such a scene that evokes just this air of doubt and like uncertainty. But yet you know in the back of your mind that it's going to work out because, well, I mean, you've seen the end of the movie, right? So if you're interested, I'm going to build this. It's not terribly colorful. It's not going to be a very complicated scene nor a very big one. But I want to build it, so I'm going to. So let's go to the table and get some styrofoam out and let's build this scene from The Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna bring up some reference pictures of my computer so I can get a better idea. I would really like to get a hot wire cutter. It's just, you know, budget, right? Okay, so like most of my builds, I'm basically doing this, coming up with the ideas as I go along. I have a basic idea in my head, but I have no idea how I'm going to execute it. Now, that's probably not a great way to go about it, so I'm not going to recommend that to you ne necessarily, but sometimes it's the only way I get started on a project. If I have to think it all the way through, there's no way I'm going to get started. So that's the way my brain works. Maybe there's some of, their, some of you out there that your brain works that way too. Originally I was going to carve this whole thing out of a block, now I'm thinking there's these three doorways that are kind of like these plinths-ish. Um, maybe I can carve three of those and then just set them into something, so we're going to try that. Also, have any of you guys figured out how to craft without making a huge mess? If you have, I mean, I'm sure you could make millions, because there's no way that I can do a project without making an enormous mess in a very short amount of time. Okay, anyway, so I don't want these to be identical, but they're definitely not going to be.
that's how it's coming along so far. Now I've just got to think of something to fill in behind those things. Well, that's how it's looking so far. I, I'm, I'm happy with the way it's turning out. Now, I was putting rock texture on everything and realizing I'm going to have to coat the whole thing. Probably in some sculpt mold stuff, so I'm not sure that the rock texture is necessarily needed. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. I might just fill in the edges and stuff. <laughs> 